Hello first grade and welcome to another art drawing video with Mr. McGill. Today we're going to be looking at the Canadian artist Ted Harrison who is inspired by landscapes and used really really bold colors for his paintings. Please make sure you take a look at the few pictures I posted with this assignment that are examples of Ted Harrison's work inspired by Northern Canada. We're going to be looking at polar bears as well for this inspired piece. And you're gonna need a blank piece of paper. You can work this way or this way, it doesn't really matter. To start, we're going to be making our, our polar bear and we're gonna use kind of a pear shape. So if you can see my picture here, I'm going to start wide and then kind of get a little bit thinner and then I'm gonna go back down around and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to include one, two little ears for the polar bear and a nice long, almost like candy corn shape for his snout. To draw his nose, I'm gonna be using a circle and then a letter J and a backwards letter J. You can just include two little dots for your polar bear's eyes. And then to make his arms, we're going to, right where it bends, come down like this, and do the same thing on the other side. Don't forget your polar bear's claws. And those can just be some lines like that. So now to give this more of a polar bear look, we're going to be adding just some dashed lines like this to indicate some of his fur. So make sure that you really add some of these and you can add as many or as few as you want. And don't forget to go down the sides as well. Now, polar bears are normally white, so we don't want to fill him completely, but we do want this texture of the polar bear to kind of be emulated. So now that I have all that done, I'm going to use a Sharpie and go over it. If you don't have a Sharpie at home, you can use a black crayon or colored pencil or any black marker really. So if you've got some markers at home too, that would be a great choice, all right? But you kind of have to work with what you've got when you are at home. So go over those claws and your bear's face. You can fill that nose right in. Don't forget his bottom parts there. And really, you're just tracing over the entire bear. I'm going to put a line on the inside of his ear as well. Give it a little more detail. And then, of course, go back over those fur marks. Okay, so now that we have our polar bear all done, we're gonna use that same shape to start making the background and the landscape. <clears throat> so I'm gonna make a couple mountains behind my polar bear. And I want you to do something similar, but of course you can make as many or as few as you want. So the first one I'm gonna do is going to be back here. And again, we don't need to make them perfectly triangular. We want them to kind of be more organic, right? Mountains are not perfect triangles, okay? They do resemble triangular shapes, but not perfectly triangular, okay? So there's my three mountains. I'm also gonna make some lines that go like this. So. This is where the snow is, and I'm gonna make another line here, and like that. 
Lastly, I think I'm going to include a sun like this, okay? So we kind of have our polar bear in front, and then of course our mountains and landscape in the background, okay? So he also liked to add a nice thick black outline to his pictures. So we're gonna kind of do that for everything that we've drawn but I'm going to not do that for my son. Okay, I really want my son to kind of be bright and I think a black circle around it might take away from that. So now, to make it a lot more like a Ted Harrison, we're going to start using bright colors. Now when you think about snow, it's normally white. And so these are not realistic pictures, pictures that are true to what landscapes really look like. They're inspired by it, but they also have their own flair by the color choices he made. When I think of snow, I think of cool temperatures. So I'm gonna use cool colors. So things on the color wheel, like green and blue, okay? And even violet and maybe even red violets. The other side, the yellows, oranges, and reds, are what we consider warm colors and shouldn't be used for your snow. So I think I'm gonna start with green and I'm gonna go ahead and color this mountain back here. I'm just using a crayon. It's the most easily and readily available art supply. You can definitely use uh, paint if you have that at home or even watercolor. However, if you're using watercolor, you'll need a special paper because not all paper can get wet. Some paper will just start to curl up or maybe even create a hole with the water that you use. So now that I have a green mountain, I think I'm gonna switch to another cool color, blue, and I'm going to do a blue mountain. The good part about this is we don't have to color our polar bear, right? It's already white. So now that I've got this mountain filled in almost, I'm thinking I'm going to use a purplish color for my third one. So I've got this magenta or red violet, and I'm gonna use that for this mountain. Again, you can use any colors you want. Try and think of cool colors. And also, don't hesitate to use the same color twice. Okay, so if you don't have a lot of colors, you can always double up and use colors twice. So now I'm gonna be looking again for a different color. I think I really like this gray, which is a neutral. And I'm gonna use that for this part of my snow. Now, this section here goes behind our polar bear. So if you notice, I'm gonna continue it over here. And I also really like the blue color. So I'm gonna do that for a second time down here and continue it over there. Now that I have that all done, I'm going to color my sun. I'm also going to make rings in my sky. So I'm gonna put a line here and here, and I'm going to do yellow-orange. I think I like how the lines really work to separate the colors, and so I think I'm gonna change my mind, and I am gonna put that circle around my sun.
Now I'm going to finish this part and I've got one more part of my sky. So notice my sky, I'm using warm colors, right? I want warm colors to kind of help that sun really pop out from my cool mountain colors. And now I'm gonna use a red orange. Okay, so this one is a little bit more on the orange side, not so much yellow orange. And I'm gonna fill in the rest of my sky. Okay, so I really like uh, Ted Harrison's style. It's kind of uh, cartoony, um, but it also is just very bright and colorful. And it also is from somewhere where he lived, Northern Canada. So. He is working from experience, and he's gone and seen these landscapes for his, with his own eyes, and I really like art that is inspired by the way people live. So now you have it, a nice little polar bear landscape combination inspired by Ted Harrison. I hope you guys enjoy it.